Good morning, it's Jeff and Wilmer at Budrum here and uh, this is probably the only time you'll see the inside of our toilet. So I want to show you how to use uh, urine as a uh, liquid fertiliser. And uh, the, I've been doing a lot of research on this subject and, uh, and I've been uh, using a bit of using it myself. I'm going to show you how we go about doing it. Now, there's a couple of advantages in using your, uh, urine as a liquid fertiliser. Uh, number one, it's free. Uh, number two, you're not using uh, any water to flush it down to the sewer. And uh, number three, you're not uh, leaving the toilet seat up all the time. It's always uh, something that blokes get accused of, you know. So uh, now, in the research I've done, you use the uh, liquid. You use your urine fresh. Uh, within 24 hours, otherwise the urea turns into ammonia. Uh, so in your urine, you've got a lot of trace elements. You've got urea, you've got uh, phosphorus, you've got nitrogen, you've got potassium. Oh, we'll go outside and I'll show you how we how we do it. <coughs> a nine litre watering can, and uh, I'm using my rainwater when we've got it. And with results of uh, maybe one or two uh, peas, you just fill it up, fill your watering can with water. And I've got this other stuff you can add a little bit to as well. So I've got this uh, power feed for veggies. <clears throat> so what I do is just add about a quarter of the recommended amount in a watering can. So uh, well, you've got this uh, fish and kelp, it's organic fertiliser. Same thing applies there, you just put a little bit with the urine and it makes this go a lot further too, you know. So, and uh, it's amazing how many people are telling me that their veggies have died out in this hot weather we've been having. And, uh, and I tell them about the sugarcane mulch for as mulch. And uh, anyway, you can sort of just look at how green everything is here behind us. Uh, our veggie garden is full. Uh, that's that lot there. Uh, you can probably show over here how um, uh, you can see everything over to the right. Everything's nice and green and lush. Wave the camera over there. So, a little bit of this stuff here. That's all you do. I also want to mention that uh, on this research I did, they say that if you if you want to, you can stop using it two weeks before you're about to harvest whatever you're going to whatever you're going to harvest. Uh, but there's no need to. They say there's no need to. Uh, you don't have to worry because urine comes out of your body virtually sterile, and they say you can drink it. Not that I'm going to be doing that. So uh, no, I couldn't stomach that. So uh, so what's our What's our trash is the, the veggie garden's treasure. That's right, isn't it, Wilma? <laughs> That's right. Right, so all you do is, uh, with your liquid fertiliser, just uh, give everything a good uh, drink with it. What I'm doing here, well, because of the hot weather we've got, uh, I'm putting some fresh sweet potato runners in, but I put a monsterio leaf over it to uh, shade it until they get established. So, uh, so now that they're established, I can take the leaves away and uh, give them a drink as well. The uh, dragon fruit, this is our young uh, red dragon fruit here. So that's it. Well. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you later. Bye.